pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. The next video example is also a hypnotist demonstration of invisibility. However, we don't have the circumstances like we did in Michael Talbot's example to really believe that the hypnotist is actually see-through. He might just be not visible to their perception. Video example, the invisible hypnotist. What is this video about? In this video example, the hypnotist has told this guy on the end that he would not be able to see him. This hypnotist will be invisible to him. He also told him that he would be seeing some amazing illusions. He then brings the guy back up to consciousness and begins to play some tricks on him. He holds a towel in the air and moves it toward the hypnotized subject. Since he cannot see the hypnotist, it looks to him like the towel is floating in the air and coming toward him. He jumps up in fear and holds his chair up to protect himself from the floating towel. For best results, pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Okay, let's look at the uh, illustration on this. Normal reality. Physical meaning of persons involved, as always. Then we have the physical meaning, you see with your eyes, which pick up light. And then you have the physical meaning, bodies are visible. And then you have the physical meaning result, the person would be able to see the hypnotist. That would be in a normal reality situation. But here we have God power exercised by hypnotism. Once again, we have the physical meaning of the persons involved. Then we have the physical meaning, you see with your eyes, which pick up light. And then you have the thought meaning, certain bodies are invisible, specifically the hypnotist. Physical result, the person is unable to see the hypnotist. The ability has been elicited and activated in subject's own life experience. Here he's got the meaning, the uh, green tuning fork of belief. Positive meaning, the green tuning fork vibrations are high frequency meanings and they resonate and elicit all the things that will match them. Now, he was told in a state of hypnosis where he's going to believe the meanings set forth by the hypnotist and the hypnotist told him, gave him the meaning that he would be invisible. So, when he's brought back up to consciousness, he now has this meaning implanted deep in his mind where it is a fact. So it doesn't matter if the hypnotist is standing right in front of him, he cannot, will not, and does not see the hypnotist. Why? Because remember, all meanings, everything happens and is reconciled and all meanings are reconciled at the energy level. Then it's only represented down here. So the only reason why we see the hypnotist as because at the energy level he has not been erased from our reality. So you see, we think the hypnotist is there. Why? Because for our meaning, he is. But for the subject's meaning, he is not even there. If we were to go up into the energy level, up above, like we had on that example of the chance, the actual reality is, is there is no energy of hypnotist there in his reality. So, as his reality is projected down into the visible, physical level, there is literally 
No hypnotist there. Literally, he's not there. Because at the energy level, he's not there. Now, at the energy level, for us, he's there. We have a meaning that he's there. So, as it comes down for our reality, we can see him. And to us, we think it's very clear that he's there. Just like in the other example, it was very clear that the daughter was there. Yes. But in his reality, the hypnotist is not. It is just that simple. So, when the hypnotist picks up the towel, the towel appears to be floating. But in our reality, it makes perfect sense. Okay, here it says, what does this example show and what does it mean? Well, not as definitive as Michael Talbot's example, it still shows how one can absolutely be unable to see something or someone that is right in front of them. In Michael Talbot's example, we could read about it and hear him describe the experience. But with this video, you'll be able to see this amazing phenomenon yourself firsthand. While these are examples of hypnotized subjects, you can have your reality change just by talking to someone. That is why I say do not entertain or listen to points of view that are counterproductive to your goals and reality. Remember that your reality will provide all the evidence that you want if you first give it some faith. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 12, Segment Number 12. Let your quest for knowing continue.